Okay, so I'm in my studio here. I'm going to make a DIY Chaotica. I think that's how you pronounce that, eyeball, which is a way to isolate your vocals if you're doing voiceover for YouTube or doing recording in a studio or for whatever reason. Uh, I used a uh, simple bowl here, uh, soup bowl, whatever, from out of the house. I'll mark it with the, a green felt pen and a sharpie and we will start cutting it out with a serrated blade knife. Now I found that if I tried to go too deep, which I really wanted to do, I wanted to do it all in one cutting, but if you go too deep, it just, you can't really turn it like you want to. So I'm going about a couple of inches deep. Try to go as straight in as you can and then you start making the curve try to turn around where the camera can see it maybe maybe and then after you get it cut out and now I'm only in about probably two inches or so. You'll start scooping it out a little bit, a little at a time, tearing it out. Now you could use um, a hole saw and, and try to drill with a hole saw, but if, that's probably about a six inch, I don't have a tape measure in here, probably six inches. And a six inch hole saw is probably gonna be 20, 30 bucks, maybe more than that. So this is just a simple way to do it. It's not gonna be real pretty, but you're gonna have a pop filter over the top of it. You're not gonna see it anyway, and it's gonna do exactly what you want it to do. So we'll just continue to cut here. Cut and scoop. You don't want to cut all the way, all the way to the end. I'm trying to figure out about how deep I am. I'm within about an inch of that back side, which is about where I want to be. I'll show you the insides of it in just a second. Let me try to get this cut and scoop a little bit better. Just ripping it out. Like I say, that's not beautiful, but it is a hole. That's what you want. All right, at this point, if you have a large diaphragm microphone, you will put a hole in the bottom of it coming up through here so your microphone can stick up like this, about halfway in the center of this thing. I do not have one. I have got a, um, a cardioid microphone. I'm gonna come in from the back because I want my microphone pointed directly at, at me here. So I'm gonna cut a hole in the back for my microphone. So this flat part, the carved out part is sitting on the table I want to come in directly from the top and just cut a hole. And I might even get away with just an X and just push the mic through. Not sure yet. Let me just see. Uh, that is pretty much just an X carved on it. Let me put the mic in there and see how that works. So this is a Sennheiser E935, a nice little mic. And it's what I have. And I can just poke it right through there. That microphone will be sitting there staring at me. I'll pick away some of the some of the fuzz. But that microphone is coming out the back. 
and that's how I will put it up on my mic stand and put a pop filter on the top of it. Let me show you how it will look on the mic stand. So here it is sitting on my mic stand. Let me show you the back side of it here. Just stuck through the styrofoam ball. And um, so what this does, as I do a voiceover, as I sing on my music tracks, whatever, my voice will go in here and nothing else in the room. This is like a vocal booth, like a portable vocal booth. Nothing else in the room, no other amb ambient sounds in the room or even outside sounds. If a car, loud car drives by or whatever, uh, should come through here. Now, I've got a pop filter that I've uh, got attached to my mic stand. Comes up here and I can just flip it over that. Yes, it's old and torn, but uh, it has done me, <laughs> served me well for many years. So there I, there I go. I just sing into the ball, basically sing into this or talk into this and it isolates all outside noise or insulates all uh, outside noise absorbs any other problems that I may have from the room. Even behind me I would do a pretty good job of absorbing. The pop filter takes out the P's, the P, P, P's and B's and whatever. And then the, uh, the eyeball here, the foam uh, isolation chamber uh, will allow my voice to be isolated from any other sounds in the room. If there's an echo in the room, if you're in a if you're in a bedroom or something like that, uh, then you will, uh, this would help you a bunch. So let me, uh, let me put that up. We're just going to start doing some singing. I think it's pretty cool. Didn't cost much. I will put a link to this ball uh, below the video. Got it on Amazon. I think it was about 20, 25 bucks. And then, but it, as you can tell, it takes about five minutes to convert it to what you need for doing some vocals or voiceover, whatever. All right, I believe that's it. We are gone in the studio. Got some cleaning up to do.